Yeah, wait. Yes, it's lemon water. Tart. June favorites, it's June favorites. It's June favorites, it's time for June favorites. Can you tell what this video is about? Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Britt, creator of The Style Shaker, your guide to whole beauty, and I am back with my dun dun. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. June favorites. <gasps> I know. I get excited about my June favorites, so I'm gonna tell you everything that I've tried. No, no. That I'm gonna walk through all of my favorites that I have been trying out for the month of, well, I've been trying them now for a couple of months, and they are my June favorites. They are my favorites of the bunch. There's skincare, there's makeup, there's hair care. It's all in there. If you wanna hear about it, if you wanna do jazz hands with me, if you wanna feel the joy associated with June favorites, stick around, let's get into it. Okay. Before I dive in, don't forget about that free green beauty guide. It's back on the site. It's free. If you're going from toxic to non-toxic, you have no idea what to do. That's your starter guide. That's where you start. That is home base. Take a couple of deep breaths. It feels better, doesn't it? Get the guide. You'll feel better. Kind of wish I had it when I was starting out, but I just wanted to let you know it's there. Okay, let's get to the favorites. Ooh, I like to clap. First favorite, first favorite, first favorite. Constantly trying things that are in the mystery boxes you suggest and not in the mystery boxes because like I can't stop myself. So there's that. First one is from Oleo E. Also. It is this lip balm. You can use it on your cheeks. You can use it on your lips. You can use it on your eyes if you really wanted to. You could use it pretty much anywhere. There's actually one you can use on your hair. It's the clear one, but I have number three. It's crimson. I love this. It looks like a tiny, tiny baby deodorant stick, but it's not. Not. Don't put this under your. It's one place you shouldn't put it. It is this lip balm. Obviously I've been using it. It looks a little funky, but it goes on so well. It is super clean. It is super affordable. And this is going to last me. I'm convinced. I mean, I've had it for over a month and it's barely put a dent in it. So this will last forever. I have a ton of colors on there, but it's just this really great lip balm and a really great company. And you need to know about it. And maybe you need to try one. I don't know. That's up to you and your budget and your like obsession with green beauty. But that's the first one, Oleo E. Also. And I just like to say the name too. So there's that. Next. Kula, 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 kula. You should totally hire me to write their jingle. I know. This is the Kula SPF 30 Face Classic Sunscreen and Cucumber. A very light scent. It has organic ingredients. It is a great primer for everything that you're putting on your face that day, especially with summer here. It's semi-matte, I want to say. There is a review for it up on the channel. There's a more matte option in here if you have oily skin. It works really well. It doesn't make you oily and greasy. It gives you a nice SPF 30. Summertime SPF, this is a great option. Kula Classic Sunscreen is my number two. Next, I have the Vapor Mesmerize Eyeliner. This is a really good soft eyeliner that I use every day. Yes, there is a little smudge stick on here so you can blend and smudge and smoke out your eyes if you want to because it's just fun to do that. You can also just use the pencil. It's very soft. I have it in black. There is a review up on the site. I'll give you a link below so you can get in-depth info. It's a great everyday subtle eyeliner. I love it. I've used it pretty much every day since I've gotten it. I have some more intense, more dramatic eyeliners that I'm starting to use now that one of them is coming up in the next mystery box and you recommended it to me. So ooh, 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 good job. For now, the Vapor Mesmerize Eyeliner. Love it. Moving on. For people who, um, you know, hurt their hair on a daily basis. Okay, me. I color my hair, I blow dry my hair, I straighten my hair, I curl my hair. I do a lot of things to it and it, it gets mad at me sometimes, but currently I've been working towards really hydrating the hair, really trying to build it back up. Number four favorite, which is from Madam CJ Walker Beauty Culture. One of the longest product titles I've ever experienced in my life, but you know, it's great stuff. The Dream Come True Wonderful Deep Conditioning Mask. Hydrating, conditioning, it's good for your scalp, it's good for your strands. I really like it a lot. I got a sample of it. You can get it now for, I believe it might still be on sale at Sephora, I'll put a link below. There is a review on this one as well. This was in the most recent mystery box, so thank you for this recommendation. I really, really like it. I use it one or two times a week. In the beginning, I was using it twice a week. It took a couple of uses to really see the results, but my hair was much softer and actually kind of bouncier, which I didn't expect. I just expected softness and more hydrated curls, but um, it did kind of make them bounce. It was like, <laughs> not with my shoulders, but it was actually my hair that was bouncing. I swear that happened. I don't have one of those really fun 
like commercial hair flips. Uh, you get the you get the picture. I really like this. This is a fun one to give a shot. If your hair is damaged, if you need some help, it does have a flowery fragrance. I don't like flowery fragrances, but it's subtle enough for me to not hate it. Who either way, I really like it. It's really good, and I like to whisper. <gasps> this turned into an ASMR. Fun. Not really. Mm -mm. Next, this is a little unassuming, cute little pencil that happens to be a workhorse for me. I use it all the time. I like having a neutral color for a liner to outline my lips. I don't do the Kardashian like way outline outside of the lip line thing. I don't like it because like you can see it by the way. You're not fooling anybody, you know what I mean? But I don't like that. So I just like to line, give a little bit of definition and it really really bumps up and boosts what your lip gloss might look like. So it's a nice natural look for every day, but it gives you a little bit more definition, a little bit more drama without looking too fake or made up, which is kind of my jam. That's what I like. So this is from Red Apple Lipstick. It's their Dusty Rose, which <laughs> anything Dusty Rose I like. I love Dusty Rose. I wear a lot of black, but I also really like Dusty Rose. And it's just this beautiful pinky Dusty Rose color that works really nice on a fair to medium skin tone. I can even use a darker lip color and this sort of blends into it and it prevents that bleeding into the lines. And also you can do that with lip balm too, but I love this. It's a little, little, little thing that does so many big things for me. So really a huge fan. Two more to go, and they are both skincare, because, you know, skincare. I have been testing more skincare. I'm doing these longer skincare tests, and the more I do them, the more I'm like, this is really an inside out job, so I don't know how that's going to manifest itself and how I'm gonna take that and make that a part of this channel, but really, it's like, skincare is good, but what you eat and consume is also a huge part of how your skin looks and feels and uh. That said, I do love the Tata Harper resurfacing mask. I've had this for a while. I started with a sample in one of the beauty boxes that I get, but it's just a really nice once a week treatment. If you have dead skin cells that you wanna get off the face, this will do it in a very gentle way. The more I'm learning about the skin barrier, which is really, really important, you don't wanna over exfoliate. Go to a dermatologist because it's so case by case. Like I have combination skin, some people have acne or acne prone. For my combination skin, I don't wanna over exfoliate. It just strips too much of the good oils away and I can see my skin getting too inflamed. This mask I use once a week. I used to use a mask from Exuviance, which was filled to the brim with really bad harsh chemicals and then I was like oh my god my skin looks amazing but it, it wasn't happy it was just ridiculously shiny have you ever had that where you use a mask and you're like oh my god my skin looks great it's not it's very it's traumatizing sometimes the skin what we think looks great so I really like this because it is gentle it is kind it is clean and it really really works just once a week it's an investment but really it does last quite a long time so that's why it made my June favorites. Then finally, the little argan oil that could. I think that's a book. No, that's a little engine that could, whatever. But it should be argan oil because it really can. It's called the Kahina Giving Beauty Argan Oil. I have a review of this up on the site. It is pretty awesome. It is a subtle transition. You'll use it. It's not one of those things that you use overnight and you're like, whoa, my face looks amazing. No. It takes some time, but I actually did a before and after image that I, <clears throat> excuse me, I posted back up on the channel on that video, and you could really see above everything else that it claims to do, this really brightened my skin, which is nice because I have a little bit of rosacea right here on the cheeks, and when I drink a lot of water, it goes kind of helps as well. Again, diet really, really helps. More veggies really, really, really help. This really brightened my skin, and after two weeks, I could definitely clearly see the results, which like you guys, come on, in skincare, sometimes you do it, and you're like, yeah, I think it's working, but you don't really, you don't really know. Spent like $100 on something, you know what I mean? That's why I'm doing these two week long tests though. There you go, the Kahina Giving Beauty is my last and final favorite for June. You can get multiple sizes of this too, so you don't have to invest in a giant bottle. You can just try it out, which is another reason I just love it. I just love you, I just love it. So much love, 
so much love. Anyway, these are the June favorites. These are my babies. These are the green beauty loves in my life currently. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. There are only seven this time. Last time I did kind of a bunch more, but I wanted to keep it shorter and sweeter. So seven favorites for the month of June. I will put all the links, all the good information down there for you to check out. And that's it. That's the review. That's not really a review. It's really my favorite. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make I can't do it. All right, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up to support the channel. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another favorites video like this one. To all of my current subscribers, my style shaker, my fam, my tribe, my people. Mwah. Love ya. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so happy to have you. And I cannot wait until I get to see you again next time right back here. Bye.